Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of, of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your incredible host. Today was the first day back to school, driving the old bus. Got the old precious, amazing, wonderful little angels again for another 180 days. Anyway, everything went fairly smooth so far. So good. So today is Monday, today is leg day. Today I'm only focusing on the hack press, the Titan compact hack press or hack sled, whatever you want to call it. It's what we're focusing on today only. Uh, last week I did the Smith Machine squats, if you recall, and uh, I got really good depth on the machine, which is something I like about the Smith Machine. It lets me get to depth. And for five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay, four days, but it started actually Monday evening. Man, my glutes and hams were feeling it, like the whole week. So one thing is for certain, I think squats, even with free weight squats and Smith Machine squats, I think that they tend to hit my hams and glutes more than my quads. And the Titan hack press seems to hit my quads a little better. So we're gonna focus on quads today. Now I don't have a leg extension or anything like that, so this is really my basic exercise that I do for the legs, either a press or a squat uh, or a deadlifts or something along those lines. So anyway, uh, I don't know how much we're gonna video here, but if I do video something good, if not, well, then I better video something because this is a channel about videos, right? So right now I got a 45 on each side. That is 193 million pounds, something like that, or 90 pounds. So let's get started on warming up the old legs, shall we? This is going to be painful, guys. <sighs> legs are always painful. Let's do this. That was our first warm-up set. Technically, this could be considered a, another warm-up set. I only threw another 45 on each side. That's 180 pounds, guys. Uh, we're gonna tilt the camera down at the plate, at the foot plate. I'm gonna let you kind of watch my legs and my feet and uh, show you kind of what I do whenever I'm working out. And this is mostly on the lighter side of the weights. Not so much once I get up a little heavier, but the good thing about doing this machine and other machines like it is you can maneuver your feet around while you're working out and get a whole different feel. And if you noticed on my first warm-up set that I was going really slow, I'd go down and get a stretch and then extend and then get a stretch and uh, stretch out my legs and all that really, really good. Uh, you want to do that, especially getting going here first thing. You want to make sure you get nice and loose so your body's used to moving, you know, moving in those ways and positions. So. Let's point the camera down at the feet and uh, get a glimpse of that, okay? Mm. 
All right, I hope you're kind of getting a good glimpse of uh, how you can move your feet around side to side. Now we're gonna take a look at moving the feet down and up and down on the plate, which also places different emphasis on different parts of the legs as well. So let's get another set. Uh, I have four 45s on each side now. So we're moving on up guys, like the Jeffersons. Let's uh, take a look at the feet again. All right, did you notice that? How you can move your feet up and down and all that good stuff. And your range of motion may vary, but keep in mind, it's okay. Uh, do what you can. And also the plates and the seats on these machines also adjust, so that might help you as well uh, to uh, find different feelings and uh, you know different uh, parts of the muscle you might not have felt before. So and now we got, uh, I'm out of 45, so now we got 35 on each side. So uh, I think that's 430, we'll see. So uh, let's see what we do on this set. Let's pay attention to the body and uh, how it moves, okay guys? Let's get some presses done. All right, guys, we're on to our next set, up to 500 pounds. Uh, I hope you could see a little bit of how the body's positioned. Again, uh, these machines are very versatile and uh, they give you a lot of options uh, that you wouldn't really think they would, but they do. And uh, they do it in a safe manner as well. So that's always good. Also, you'll notice that probably in a minute, I'm gonna be putting on my belt. That helps with not blowing your guts out and uh, it helps with uh, not getting that distinted gut look. And uh, I don't wear it all the time, but once in a while I'll throw the belt on when I remember. So it's not something that's a must, but it might can help you to kind of hold your gut in a little bit. So let's get another set of these. I got 500 on and uh, let's get it going. guys we are ready to go got the machine loaded up with all i can get on there of course if i had all 45s it would be more weight but i top out at 570 pounds and uh well we're gonna get her done so right now i did put my belt on again it just kind of helps to keep the gut in check and uh also another thing whenever you're doing Whenever you start getting up, especially into the little bit heavier weights, make sure whenever you lift off, whenever you go to push up the, the sled and unlock, 
Uh, a good tip might be to keep your legs in front of you and not like spread out or in some of these other positions that I've talked about. If you keep them in front of you, you're nice and solid and sturdy. Number one, that's good just to help and unlock properly to make sure you get a full extension and it fully unlocks. Number two, just in case something were to go wrong and uh, maybe the weight was too much or something, you know, and you had to control it, uh, keeping your legs in front of you gives you more control. So wait until you unlock and you got control of the weight and you know you're good, and then you can kind of situate yourself. So let's get this uh, set down to these and uh, we'll move on. Well, there you go guys that's gonna be my leg workout for today now I know you've seen me do the hack press before so that's no big deal but I tried to kind of do a little explanation here and there about a couple things uh, how I see it it might be you know something different for someone else but uh, whew, uh, for me uh, those things kind of are true in my daily life in my workout when I do legs uh, on this machine especially so water <sighs> Whew. and uh, I went ahead and uh, I, I cut it off at 10 sets because I was a big boy and I went ahead and did four sets of the 570 for 10 reps so that's a lot of weight to do for four sets don't know if you've ever done it but that's a lot of weight guys for me so anyway i hope hope i uh gave you a little advice or something on uh, the movement and uh, and uh, the press versus the hack squat or the regular free weight squat and how they affect me differently and uh, maybe they do you as well hey leave some comments down there and let me know uh how you feel about uh, the presses and the different squats and all that 
and how they affect you and uh, uh, what part of the legs that, uh, that they mostly hit for you. And uh, just leave some comments, guys. Make the community grow and uh, share, you know, get the word out there. What do we say every day? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Bite Beatdown. Me, Michael, your incredible, insane host. And uh, I love you. I thank you for watching. All the subscribers, all the non subscribers, all of you, I appreciate you. And uh, let's keep a, a good, happy, healthy, fun, energetic community that is full of knowledge with tips and tri uh, tricks and ideas and, uh, and all that stuff. And let's remember that everyone kind of does things differently. So try not to be too harsh with me or anyone else. Just uh, maybe offer just subtle advice with different tweaks and movements and stuff. That'll always help and usually go over well with people, okay? So don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. See y'all later. Now go blast them legs. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!